Hey everybody, welcome to Hen Barper, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this Sugimori style official Pokemon art into this, this, and this. As you can see here, I've just about finished my project of turning the official Gen 1 Sugimori arts into 64 by 64 uh, pixel arts. Only got about five left. I just kind of started one day. I love the Sugimori art style. I started with the Bulbasaur just to see what it would look like translated to 64 by 64. And I thought it was cool and it was really easy and it didn't take very long to do. So I was like, I'll do another one. And I did more and more. And then eventually I was like, I'm gonna just, I guess I'm doing them all. Guess I'm doing them all now. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to do it. And this works with you could do this with any kind of art. Any drawing you did, if you have an OC or any other character you want to turn into pixel art, it's really easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here I've got my ref, my reference image for Ghastly. It's the one we're going to do first. Um, but I should show you how we got to this point first. So I created a 64 by 64 canvas. I'm going to paint the background white and create a new layer called ref. All right, and you can see here, I've just searched Ghastly Sugimori, and usually there's gonna be two different Sugimori arts. Usually one's more of a dynamic pose, and then the other one's more just kind of a regular stand in there kind of pose. If you look at Charmander, we've got these two, both are kind of dynamic. This one's a little more dynamic, and then this is the newer Sugimori style. But I like the old watercolor style for this. And then if we look at Venusaur, we've got the more dynamic pose and the uh, just kind of stand in there pose. Um, so I chose this one. Usually it's a little better for these to be a square. But you can see here, you know, a lot of them, I've used mostly the dynamic poses, but some of them are just the kind of standard stand in there pose. Here's some dynamic ones, just kind of depends. Um, but I like this one, so I'm just going to copy the image, go back. I'm using GIMP for this free open source uh, software. All right, and I paste it in and it's way bigger than 64 by 64. So I'm gonna use the scale tool to scale it down make sure the whole thing fits into our square oh and i'm going to start a timer so i can know exactly how long it takes to do this all right and voila there it is okay at the right size so then i've already done that so i'm gonna go back to the one and then i i lowered the opacity because we're going to draw on top of it and i you also want to have our reference visible here because we're gonna have to make some decisions it's gonna be a lot like tracing but also not because we're gonna have to make certain decisions to make things work all right so let's start just oh and I want to draw on the lines layer that I've already created so I'm just gonna go ahead and start gonna color in this uh, around this eye and we've got a bit of a kind of a white kind of shine to show this eyebrow here so I'm gonna leave a little bit of blank spot here to show that kind of erase here and there a little blank spot I'm just gonna leave one square for that um, probably going to skip out on this little white line here and here. It's not super necessary. Um, I'm going to leave just, that's going to be the tooth there. And I'm going to switch to a bright green color for now to draw in kind of where the mouth is going to go. Just so I can have it kind of visualized. And it needs to actually come out past the mouth a little bit all right and let's get the other eye 
This is interesting because it kind of comes out a little more. Okay, and we can see here the tooth. The head kind of goes out past the tooth, or the tooth goes out past the head a little bit. All right, and we're gonna have another tooth over here. Don't love this tooth placement here. Maybe if we do kind of, eh, no, don't like that. I guess that works. Maybe if we fill this in a little bit. All right, I think the problem is because of the mouth. It doesn't look like the, this just looks like a, Maybe we can extend the mouth a little bit. If I do that and take that off, that's better. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's where we get in trouble with these, the teeth and the claws specifically with such tiny resolutions. All right, I am going to Make sure we have our circular face here. I think that's pretty good. Right, and I want the tooth kind of sticking out right here. Mm -hmm. That might work. We'll try that. The rest of that, all right, so that's basically that. Now for the gas here, that's gonna be all, There's. I'm not gonna do any line work on that for this one. So we wanna take this away. So I think we want both eyes, maybe even, that looks a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this out. I'm going to duplicate this and try this again. It's too big of a tooth coming out of the side like that. No, it just looks weird. It's maybe a little better. I kind of like that actually. All right, we're gonna go with this one. All right, and this time I'm just gonna grab that color and get rid of it. All right, so that's our lines. Now I'm gonna duplicate this and call it BW, short for black and white. And I am going to color pick for my black and white. My magmar, I've got a dark and a light gray that I use every time. All right. And so the mouth is pretty much all going to be a little bit of light lighter in here, but it's pretty much all dark. And then use this dark gray to fill in this area here. So now I'm going to grab our even lighter shades of gray. I'm going to use, I usually just use the very light shade. I'm going to add this kind of shading on Gasly's eye. We're going to go in there. Just, there's not really, maybe we'll put a little bit right here. 
Uh, there's some on the tooth here, but we've only got one row of pixels, so we're gonna leave that empty. And then I'm just gonna kind of fill in a little bit of this extra stuff here. Ghastly is gonna be a little different from all the other pixel arts I've done before because of all the transparency. Most of the you know, other ones didn't have a bunch of gas. There's some fire, but that's about it as far as transparency. And we're not really not using any transparent pixels in these. All right, so that's not bad. So there's our black and white version of Ghastly. And you know what, actually, I'm gonna kinda go and circle these a little bit. Add in a little bit. Yeah, I think that's got a little more variation in the in the gaseousness. Yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. All right, so there's our black and white. It's only been 15 minutes so far. Now this is where it gets pretty easy. Up the opacity on this. And I'm not gonna have to do much for this one since the face is all black. So I'm gonna steal this kind of dark red and this light red. I'm gonna duplicate the black and white and rename it color. I'm gonna change the dark red to or the dark gray to the dark red. All right, don't need to do anything with the teeth. I'm gonna grab this kind of light bluish color that's shading the eye here. Add that on. All right, and then I guess it's just the gas after that. So I'm gonna grab the darkest purple I can find. And then the next darkest. Actually, let's do the darkest and the lightest. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to... We're on our color layer, yes. Hit all the darkest spots. Okay. I'm going to go through and hit all these very, very light spots. Okay, so I'm gonna that. All right, and I am going to try and pick a good, two good in betweens. Uh, let's go a little darker. Maybe this one. All right, let's see if those fit in between. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. That's just about perfect. All right, now if this works right, nice. Okay, and I can just select all that by color and do it real quick. All right, and we'll just erase that. And there is our ghastly in color. Now it only took three minutes to go from black and white to color. All right, and then so we're going to duplicate it one more time. And now we are going to make the shiny. All right, and we're going to go here and we're going to search shiny ga ghastly, ghastly, All right, images. And we just need to find a good representation of the colors that, ooh, that one's pretty cool looking. I like, hmm, I, don't, I like the blues of the gas. We're going to need... This one is really cool, these two. We're gonna have to do a little work on the, on the line work for this one, I think. That's okay, all right, let's use this one. Copy image, all right, we're gonna go back into GIMP and I have this page with just all the shinies. What number is Ghastly? 92, I've got them in order. 92, Ghastly, 
Uh, get out of here, Graveler. Okay, ghastly. Alright, we're gonna scale it down so we can see all the colors. Alright, I'm gonna start with just the quick and easy ones, the new shades for the mouth. Alright, we got our shiny thing. Alright, that's easy. This has a more of a regular gray for the eye shadow, but I think I'm gonna leave what we got. And this is pretty much, I guess there's two shades of blue here. All right, so I am going to Those are really close together. So I'm gonna take this one and go a little darker. Take this one and go a little more pretty vibrant. I think that'll work all right for that. All right, so I'm gonna color pick this dark one. Got just like all of that dark purple. Color it into that color. Get this color. Get that next darkest color. Hit it with that. Get that one. And with that. And now this very light one. Color in with that. Hmm. Now. Doesn't look as cool as I want it to be. I think it's a little too, like, dark. Or a little too desaturated, maybe. Let's go with that. Let's make our very light. Even lighter. Okay. That's looking better. All right, now let's get this one. Make it a little more saturated. better. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Get rid of those. All right, so now we're going to get on to the face, which is very much different from the original. So it's going to be dark on the inside and light on the outside. All right, we got a reference on the side here that should work. Now, usually transforming to the shiny process is more simpler than this, but since we're going from a full black, um, you know, thing to this shaded purple, it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to kind of fill in around the edge so we still have our line work. And this is going to be this color now. That's pretty much all going to stay as is. Add a little, a little bit of flare here. Yeah, I don't hate that. I hate the mouth is a little weird, but that's okay. All right, and we've got our shiny version of Ghastly. So now I'm going to make a horizontal version where I can put them all and a vertical version where I can put them all. I'm going to copy all that, put it here and here. to add it to both of my, let's say he goes right here, 92. And on this one, black and white, make sure you're on the right layer. And on the color version. 
the shiny here. And I'm gonna update the count. Save. Same here. Update the count and save. Make sure I save this. All right, so now I can save these with the rest. It's 92. Castly BCS stands for black, white, color, and shiny. Gonna export it as a PNG as well. And then I'm going to scale it up quite a bit. Make sure interpolation is set to none. So now we have a bigger version that's still pixelated, but we can share on social medias. Export that as BCS larger. Okay, and then I have this version that I use for Pinterest, so I'm just going to scale it up right away. I'm going to save that as 92 Castly um, Pinterest and export it as a PNG. And there you go. We've got our Ghastly black white color version and shiny from the sugimori art and it took less than 30 minutes my timer says 27 minutes and 30 seconds All right so here we go four four left to do for my project here so that was the easy one i'm going to show you also a medium and a normal one uh, but real quick, I'm going to put up on the screen just to show you that you can do this with, you know, anything really. Let's, let's find a good picture of Hollow Knight. Simple, nice, simple character. Mm, let's find just a good, let me do this pose. It's pretty basic. All right, now this is going to be a little tricky because it looks very dark in here, but I'm going to do what I can. Okay, all right, and there's Hollow Knight, and that was pretty easy. That took, uh, what, 10, less than 15 minutes. I just did that. It's not perfect. I just knocked it out as fast as I could, basically, uh, keeping it to some level of quality. And, yeah, you yeah, you can do that with any piece of digital art you got. All right, so that was, Ghastly was our easy example. So we'll do our medium one, which could be either Electabuzz or Kadabra. Kadabra is kind of complicated. Let's, let's look at a Kadabra Sugimori. All right, let's see if we got this. Ooh, that's an interesting pose. That's pretty cool. It's a square. I don't know how well that's going to read in pixels. Mm. Might have to go. What did we do for the other one? Mm, they're pretty much just standing there. Uh, I think we're safe going for the this version. Alright, so we're going to make a new 64 by 64. Paint the background white. New layer called ref, paste in our ref, resize it. Make sure everything's in there. Lower the opacity, create a new layer called lines. Okay. Maybe a 
of a look at that. And we'll start with this little star, I guess. And we're not going to be able to put that little crinkle in there, and that's fine. Oh, he's like, <laughs> he's missing a finger here, it seems. Is that, that's okay, he's got three fingers. That's a, some kind of a mistake. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay. Uh, do I want to leave it or fix it? Do I stay true to the original? I, that just seems weird. I think I'm going to fix it. There's no way to really fit both nostrils in a good way. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Try that. They're too high up though, so we're gonna go nostrilless, which is fine with me. Um, boom. All right. There's Kadabra. That took us up paying attention. What, like 20 minutes to get all that done? 20, 25? I'm going to duplicate, add some color. That looks like Kadabra to me. Let's get the shiny. Oh, it's one of these. One of these doesn't look any different. But boring. It's just lighter. And voila. There we go. Save that, and we are down to three left. Still need to do my champ. Uh, let's see. Bell Strout, Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell, Electabuzz, and Moltrace. All right, and we'll do my champ next. That'll be our hard one. Have to fit a four-armed buff boy in this little square. All right, so we'll go back to the internet and search Machap, Machapman, Machamp, Sugimori, Sugi, okay, I cannot type, I do not type good. Uh, okay, so let's see, this is a cool dynamic pose, or this one, do we want this or this one? What do we have already for, for these guys? These are both fairly dynamic poses. Mm, so what's going to fit better? Oh, that one's cool. Uh, but we're going to do one of these two. I feel like this one's more representative of the Machamp I, I know. But this one's just really cool. Mm, yeah, I want to do this one. I don't know. It speaks to me. It speaks to my soul. Uh, okay, so we're going to make a new 64 by 64. Alright, this mouth and eye situation is going to be a little weird. Hmm. 
And you can see I'm going to kind of extend this out a little bit, make it bigger than it, it really is on my reference, just to make it a little more readable. That doesn't look quite right. Extended the mouth pretty well beyond, so uh, it looks too big. I might just have to. Right, this needs to come out a little more. I need to have sp space in between the eyes here. I think that's better. I like that better. There. All right. This kind of looks like a mess right now, but I think once we add everything else in there, it's going to be all right. So we can see we got this line where the kind of chest, the pecs, it um, you know cuts off, and the the face is a little bigger than it is here because it's the chin is kind of touching that already Actually, let's add in. yeah that's better all right and I think that's that's fine I think I'm going to move the whole head up one notch so that we can better show off. This looks like a nipple or something. I don't want that. There we go. That's better. Okay, does this arm look good? Yeah, we're missing a bit of a finger here. That's not bad, but this back arm looks weird. That's better. Getting there, I guess that'll have to work. All right, cool, so we got our line work. I forgot to time it, but I guess I can look on here later and see how long it was. I don't think very long. 10, 15 minutes maybe? 20 max? Alright, we're going to duplicate that. Black and white. Go to color pick. I always do it for Magmar for some reason. Alright, get this back up here. So that's going to be our darker colors. So I'm going to use that for the skin and the, this, his head weird fins. And I'm not going to be able to rely so much for the head on what's underneath because I moved it around a little bit. All right, there we go. We got our black and white version. All right, I don't really need the ref any. Well, yeah, I kind of do actually. Um, cool. All right, we're gonna duplicate that. 
knock out our color version real quick. And our shiny. So let's get, I don't know, his eyes are red. This doesn't really reflect it. I guess I'm gonna double pick from this, make it more of a red. And then kind of make, I'm gonna saturate it a little more, make one a little darker and one a little lighter. That'll work. All right, we got the eyes. All right, let's do, oh, did I? I did not do his mouth area. Okay, back to color. Whoopsie daisy. This light, so just take a sec. Alright, the darker color, pretty much all this side. Alright, we're gonna just actually I'm gonna steal those again and then just delete and duplicate and start that over. And we'll get the fins. All right, there's our colorful Machamp. Oh, and I missed one spot. There we go. There, oh my gosh, I missed another spot. I'm just realizing. Uh, the the head in between them. I'm just gonna draw over it this time, so I don't just start over. Okay, am I missing anything now? I don't think so. I don't like this spot here. I'm gonna fix that. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, I don't even know what Shiny Machamp looks like. I bet he's one of the green ones. Look at that, one of these green. Silly. Silly, so it was Shiny Machoke like that? Uh, yeah, he's kind of green. Uh, okay, let's see which. This is fine, I guess. And. Yep, yeah, I think that's everything. Save. Alright, well, there's our. There's our Machamp, all done. And you can see, even though it was a little more complicated, it still comes out looking pretty good, 64 by 64. Got yeah, here's our easy, normal, and hard. Not very complicated. Well, actually, Kadabra's fairly complicated. Actually, Kadabra might be more complicated than Machamp. I don't know. They're fine. They both look They look good. I'm happy with them. Save up this Machamp. What number is he again? 68. Save this. Save this. Save this. Okay, so now, if I could do one thing differently, going back and looking on all these that I've done, uh, on my Kabuto one that I posted... Um, Seven Sashimi, or at Sev Pokemon, commented that looking at the official sprites, they use the non-black colors from the body outlines to soften and smooth the lines, and that could help out with my sprite work, make a pop. So I did an example, and I think that does look pretty cool. I don't know if I want to go back in and redo all... 151 of those in black and white color and the shiny version but I might if I get to feeling perfectionisty 
But anyway, if you're doing sprite work, that is certainly something to consider. I think it looks pretty cool. So anyway, guys, that is our that is my process for turning the Sugimori art style into pixel art. These are the ones we've done for today. Um, please like the video and subscribe to see more similar content. And check out my Twitter, where I've been posting all these for a long time as I complete them. See, this was back when I had 75 done. Or my DeviantArt, where I post this stuff and my other digital artworks that I do. Or my Pinterest, where I also post this stuff. They will be linked below. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.